Eagle Rods here for the 454. We finally came in. Appear to be of good quality. Pretty damn nice. And what I see. Eagle, they make pretty good shit for the money. Pretty good option if you not want to spend a million dollars and still want decent shit. They rate them at 800 horse for these I beams, but they always give themselves leeway. That would be 800 continuous horsepower. I don't know for how long, but drag racing application. They'll take considerably more. These are bushed for floating pins. Got the beams all profiled and shit. Pretty nice. FSI 6135-S. Ribbed for her pleasure. ARP rod bolts, cap screws. These work good in stroker applications. Also, they weigh about 800 grams. Fucking nice. These look beefier than the comparable scat rods, actually. Scat made them first, and then Eagle came along later. And Eagle made some rods that were decent stock replacement shit. 5140 rods. But they had the stock replacement and they had the upgrade. Where SCAD had stock replacement and then the upgrade and then the upgrade from that. Eagle didn't have any rods that compared to the, the Eagle or the Scat Pro rods. I have some here. Speaking of them, these are going out of 496. shit here. Got the extra meat here. The scat rod don't have it. They look similar. But they're different actually. The fucking eagle rod looks better. Meteor. They're both forty three forty steel. But the SCAT Pro Competition I beam here came out. 
and then the eagle came out later so I guess they had something to look at to they needed to outdo one up. So the eagle rod looks like it would be stronger just by looking at the material. And you got this area here. It's thicker on the eagle rod. That's about your weakest spot on these fucking rods. Got the extra shit here. So the eagle rods definitely look beefier. These scat rods here are supposed to be pretty damn good. They'll take a lot of power. would handle a thousand horsepower no problem and drag racing application and hell old Richard Holdner boosting stock bottom end 454s past 1200 horse with stock rods so these are clearly better than stock 3H big block Chevy rods. These are 716 cap screws. So they're pretty fucking burly. These things are well machined. That's a quality piece. one's lighter between the two. Probably weigh them and find out. Compare the difference. These eagles almost look like they're machine better too. Look like they have a, a better finish. Smoother. Shinier. These are good rods. These will set you back 450, 500 bucks set. That's what you're looking at. Eagle been around for a while. They make a lot of cranks and shit. For engines that nobody else makes a crank for. You can buy a four and a half inch stroke crank for an Oldsmobile 455. I guess it's 600 bucks, 650. And they're cast steel, but they're stronger than a stock crank. Get the extra quarter inch stroke. And they make Pontiac cranks and shit too. These are a pretty damn good set of rods. I prefer floating pins because you can assemble them yourself. I don't like heating up rods and press pin. I've always had this thought that heating them up weakened them, so fuck with the heat treat. So I prefer not to do that. I prefer putting them together myself. Here's the part number. That's the box that came in. But there they are, eagle rods, pretty damn good.